Are you sitting on capital gains from your stocks or mutual funds and you're thinking of buying a house? There's a really tax efficient way of doing this. So let's assume that you've um, bought a mutual fund, an equity mutual fund for 1 crore and its value has appreciated to 2 crores. Now option 1 is that you sell this mutual fund, you get your 2 crores, you pay tax, long term capital gains tax which is 10% which is 10 lakhs and then you use the balance amount which is 1 crore 90 lakhs to buy the house. Second more tax efficient option is that you use um, this 2 crores as a deduction under section 54F. So again you sell your mutual fund but you claim a deduction for reinvesting the sales proceeds in a house under section 54F and you no longer have to pay capital gains tax. Amazing isn't it? So, you can get the benefit of section 54 in um, stocks or mutual funds which you have held for more than one year, that is when they become long term capital gains or you can claim it for debt mutual funds which you have bought before 31st, uh, before 1st April 2023 and which you have held for at least three years. Uh, for them as well, you can get the benefit of section 54. You can't get it for things like bank FD interest or uh, debt mutual funds that you've bought after 1st April 2023. Um, but for assets where you can claim this benefit, it has uh, it can save you a lot of capital gains tax. Now there are a couple of conditions that you need to meet in order to get the benefit of this section. So number one, you have to buy the house either within two years of selling the shares or mutual fund or you have to have bought it at least you have to have bought it uh, for a maximum of one year before so it's either up to one year before or up to two years after you sell your stocks or mutual funds if you are constructing a house then you have to construct the house within three years of um, selling the stock or mutual fund a lot of people wonder if you can get this for land the answer is yes, but you have to build a house on it. Uh, the land needs to be part of your house building process. Um, the second condition that you need to satisfy is that at the time of selling your stocks or mutual funds, you can't be owning two houses or more than two houses. So if you have one house, that's fine. But if you have two houses or three, four, five, etc., then you will not get the benefit of this section. One more condition that applies is that you cannot sell the new house within three years of purchase. Think of this um, in SIP format, right? A humble 50,000 rupees a month SIP can translate into a one crore dream house. How? Well, if your 50,000 rupees per month SIP earns an, a return of 12% compounded over a period of 10 years, then your corpus will grow to 1 crores. You can utilize this corpus to buy the house and claim the benefit of section 54F and you don't even then have to pay long term capital gains tax on the gains on that SIP. Another uh, amazing in tax reduction that is available to you.